Welcome to the Fit Life Orange County podcast. I am your host, Jake Stewart. In today's episode, we get to sit down with Marie DeMond. She's one of our clients here at Mission Viejo Fit Body Bootcamp. We're super excited to get to know a little bit more about her. She kind of brings you through her entire fitness journey from being a busy mom, now a, a busy grandma as well, and just kind of how she's made fitness fit into her lifestyle. And we're super excited about today's episode. Here is Bryce Henson and Jake Stewart, your host of the Fit Life Orange County. Welcome. We have Marie with us today. We're so excited to have you. Thank so welcome you. to the show. Um, first and foremost, can you just introduce yourself to our audience, uh, get, a, get them to know just a little bit about yourself, uh, kind of just who you are and just, just an overall introduction. Yes, so. thank you. Um, my name is Marie Demond and um, I um, have been going to food, Fit Body Boot Camp for about four years now. And um, I've had quite a transformation and I absolutely love it here. It's changed my life. I love the people. I love the workouts and um, I'm married and I have two children. One is married and um, that's about it. That's awesome. Well, <laughs> thank you so much. Like it's always so good to have a good insight into your life. And we're going to touch on all those things that you said. So you started talking about how much you love Fit Body, the transformation that you have. Uh, obviously, I've known you for a long time. Um, so we're just kind of going to get into your story just a little bit. Um, so to start it off, so just kind of tell us just a little bit about your fitness background. So have you been a person that's always been into fitness? Have you always worked out? Like even going back uh, 20 years or so, like mm -hmm. however far back you're comfortable going. Um, just let us know just a little bit about it. So have you always been someone that works out? Um, do you like to work out? Um, just kind of. Okay. Yeah, great. I've always been very interested in fitness. I've always in, been active because I think it's um, it's important, but I've never had this level of, of fitness before. In high school, I was a swimmer um, and I always enjoyed swimming. And then I started working full time and got married and had children. And of course, unfortunately, I'm the type of person that didn't put myself first and I worked and my kids came first. So I didn't, it wasn't a priority fitness, although I really, um, wanted to do more of it, I just would fit it in it. Um, in spots um, and just try to do more walking and um, you know be active in that way. But I, it definitely was not a priority as I got married and built my career. I wanted it to be, but but um, I didn't, and that's just how it was when I was raising my kids. Yeah. So mean, you say like what was holding you back mainly was just kind of your busy schedule, being yeah. like a, like a mom and having a job and yeah. doing things like that that yeah. was holding you back. Yeah, it was holding me back. And and um, but yet I'd look at people like I have my brother's wife, my sister in law. She was raising a family too, and and she'd always find time to work out. And I thought, how does she do it? And it's just you know it was about prioritizing and and putting yourself on the calendar. Yeah. Um, which uh, was hard for me because I I tend to just put others first and. Um, I, I didn't do that for, for many, many years and it was hard because I wanted to, I noticed that I wasn't feeling as good and didn't have as much energy and I wanted to do that, but it was, it was a obstacle for me, but I was my worst obstacle. Yes. I was, nobody was saying you can't do that. It was just yeah. me. Yeah. yeah, totally understandable. I mean, there's plenty of other like women and moms out there like you and dads, uh, dads alike that put, put their kids and their family first. Uh, but I'm curious is to what was the breaking point? What made you put yourself first and start getting into fitness and start working out? Was there like a certain moment that you realized that maybe, hey, things are going in the wrong way and I really need to get a hold of it? Um, was it just you found something you really like to do? Um, can you give us a little bit of insight on that? Yes. Well, the uh, I think about four years ago, I, I um, had retired from my full-time job in um, in mortgage banking and my daughter was engaged and was getting married. and. Um, I wanted to um, to help her with the wedding, and if she doesn't live by me, and it took a lot more travel, and I just it was a lot more um, different type of activity for me. But I was becoming really tired, and I wanted to be there for her as a mother of the bride, and and help her with the wedding, and I wanted to um, feel good about the wedding day and be uh, look as good as I could. So I guess my my pivotal change for me was just um, my daughter's wedding and wanting to be there for her and look the best that I could look and also begin a new life and a new chapter of traveling. And I knew that I had to, um, if I wanted to do what I wanted to do and, and go the places that I wanted to go, I had to be as fit as possible and as healthy as possible to experience those travel Definitely. Yeah. And that brings, that brings up a good point. So something that I always like to tell our clients, like, especially like as you age, uh, being fit is so important and not to say that you need to be on the cover of women's health or men's health, mm -hmm. uh, but you need to be fit enough to do those basic daily activities. So just mm -hmm. little things like going on walks, going on hikes, like those require a lot and just 
not being fit or not having having yes. that health by your side, like one little slip or one fall, right. and that can put you down possibly forever, you know? So, but the more fit and the, uh, the better your lifestyle choices are now when you're younger, the better that quality Absolutely. of life is gonna be moving forward. And so many people don't realize that, they just keep making those bad decisions mm -hmm. and keep not making the change, not making the change, not making the change. And sometimes, like, sadly, that goes too far and then they're almost a lost cause because they're too far and advanced and the, uh, they have a bunch of health problems that are plaguing them. Absolutely. Um, and that doesn't allow them to travel. So maybe their son or daughter wants to get married in Italy and they can't fly because their health doesn't allow them to. And that exactly. breaks my heart. And I always, I always hate hearing that, so that's yeah. why I do what I do and I always try to help as many people as possible. Right. And it sounds like you had the right idea and you made that change right at the right time. Mm -hmm. um, so you didn't allow it to track on too far, which kudos to you, that's super duper Thank awesome. You. Um, so that being said, so now that you go to the gym and you've been coming to Fit Body for a couple of years now, um, how have you been liking it? So what, is, what are some of the aspects of coming to Fit Body Bootcamp that you enjoy? Um, and is there anything that was really hard at the beginning, maybe now it seems a little bit easier? Um, can you give us some insight on that? Yes. Um, well, I absolutely love coming to Fit Body Bootcamp. And how it started was, um, I think I had a, either a two-week two group on or a one-week come for free, and um, I saw it and I came. And um, I had gone to like the YMCA and some 24-hour fitnesses and stuff before intermittently. Like I said, it would be like once a week or a few times a month. And I just, I, I would walk in and I felt like, you know, a fish in a big pond. It was like I would work out, but it wasn't the community that FitBody had. And so when I first came for those first two weeks, immediately I felt um, supported and encouraged and I thought, well, I'll just do this for two weeks and you know see how it goes. But what I what surprised me was um, was how I felt differently, and it wasn't just a physical transformation. It was like mentally, I felt more um, um, encouraged, and um, I felt more alive and like, oh, okay, I can I can do this. And I also had to change my mindset and um, decide that I was going to put Marie on the calendar and make Marie a invest in Marie. And as a working mom, full-time working mom, and raising kids, it's hard to do that. Um, so I was glad that I made the decision and um, to put myself first and be committed. And so I started on that two-week thing, and then I signed up for it, and I do not regret it. And yeah, the the transformation was phenomenal. I mean, I I I lost like 26 pounds and 21 inches, and. Um, I was only going to come a few times a week. I started, I thought, oh, I only could do this a couple times a week. And then I ended up coming, you know, three, four times a week. And now I'm here four to five times a week. And, um, and it's part of my lifestyle. I think that's the difference is I change it to, oh, I've got to go exercise to, I, I want to go exercise. I want to go in because I want to start my day that way. It makes me feel good. I'm able to do more. Um, That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Well, that mindset is really, really important. <clears throat> um, so we always we always look at exercise sometimes as a chore, um, something that we have to do. Mm -hmm. And it's better to look at it the way you're looking at it is something that I get to do. So I yes. get to go exercise. I get to be healthy. Yes. And everybody has that opportunity. It's just making that change. And like you said, putting Marie first mm -hmm. is so important because it's your health. Like number one is you. Because um, yeah. if you're not healthy and you're not living a good lifestyle, you're not going to be around for those that you love. Mm -hmm. um, so I always say that's so important. Um, and I'm so excited for you. Obviously, I've known you since day one. Uh, she's being very modest, saying four or five times a week. She comes <laughs> five times a week every single time, maybe even six if she's crazy. Uh, but she's always here. She's always crushing it. So I just want to give you some Thank kudos. You. I'm so proud of how uh, you. have you progressed. What's up, my friend? Coach Price here. Now, you might know me as the co-host of this podcast and the owner of Mission Viejo Fit Body. But what many people don't know is that I began my journey as a fitness transformation story. You see, circuit training and nutrition coaching absolutely changed my life after being overweight with a diet of mainly fast food in my late teens. Now, upon my fitness transformation in early 2007, yes, I gained a much better physique as I was overweight and lacked lean muscle. But way more than burning fat and building lean muscle, I increased my confidence, my energy, and my vibrancy to live life. And it's for these reasons that many people join our boot camp. In fact, with our Ultimate Transformation Program, we guarantee that you will lose at least 15 pounds in 12 weeks, or your program is free until you do. Now go ahead and visit our website at missionviejofitbody.com. Now thanks, and back to the show. And so you talked just a little bit about the, um, the scale victories, um, but can you elaborate just a little bit more on like the non-scale victories? So what are some things now, so that uh, Marie here in 2023, that you feel and that you're able to do, that maybe Marie in 2015 wasn't able to do? Mm -hmm. So is there any, any non-scale victories 
Oh, absolutely. The non-scale victories, um, actually, I, I just overall have um, just more energy and I have the desire and the mo motivation to want to um, do more and experience more and travel more because I feel better myself. I feel better physically, so I, I think it's opened up the doors and the opportunities to be able to do more. And also, like you said, um, I, I feel like because I've invested in myself, because I continually every day to fill up my cup, I'm able to be a better mom. I'm able to be a better wife, a better friend. And I actually, on the side, since I retired, I'm a registered caregiver. And that is very important for me to take care of myself because as I'm caring for the elderly and the old, these other people, I have to be able to be healthy. And what I noticed, and they are a reminder for me because I care for two 90-year-old women, totally different women. One woman can't, one, one of the ladies can't even move. Um, and the other lady um, has more mental disabilities and can move. But what I've noticed in their journey and me caring for them over the last two years is the one lady that can't move as much, she can't move as much because the less she's moved over the last few years, the less she can move. Which is a reminder for me, though, is get up and move, Marie, every day because the more you move, the more you can move. <laughs> and I want to be able to be that, you know, grandma hopefully one day where I can run around after the grandkids and and just be a better person and it be healthier um, to be able to do the things that I enjoy and that is I'm the type of person that likes to travel and get out and be with people and if you're if I have aches and pains and I can't move then I can't do the things that I enjoy exactly yeah so I took two really important things away from that and there's a couple things I want to address to the audience is that one, like it's really important, like you said, uh, I know Kirsten and you set mm -hmm. some great examples for her and I know she adores and loves you so, so much and <laughs> I've gotten, I've been lucky enough to meet her a couple of times, your daughter, um, but you've set, set the example that like, hey, like mom gets in and works out and she does the same too. So I know that over COVID, she was working out at home in her mm -hmm. backyard. I remember seeing her on the Zoom <laughs> yeah. screen. Um, it was so awesome and that maybe, hey, if you didn't have those practices and maybe you didn't set that example, she might not have felt that she needed to do that. And I'm so happy and proud of her for doing that. Yeah. Um, and the other thing was, I love that starting your fitness journey has allowed you to give back to the community and you've started to give back to the community more by doing caretaking, which is super awesome. Mm -hmm. That's one of our core values here at Fit Body Bootcamp is to give back to the community. That's why we do our charity donations every month and all the other things that we do is that fitness always leads back to giving back to your community mm -hmm. and just helping people get fit is in and of itself giving back to the community mm -hmm. and helping one person at a time here in Mish Viejo. So I wanted to say like kudos to you and I'm so proud of you for giving back to the community. Thank that's you. so, so awesome. Yes, I love it. Um, so that's super great. And some one more thing that I wanted to touch on um, before we get into toward the end of this is that uh, you've talked to me a couple of times. You've met a lot of people here at boot camp. Um, talk us through that. So um, obviously you've made some friendships. I know who all your buddies are, <laughs> um, but talk us through just kind of like getting to meet those girls and uh, the things that you guys do. Do you guys hang out on yeah. the weekends or is it just a boot camp friendship? Yeah. Uh, just tell us a little bit about that. Yes. Oh my gosh. That is the, that was the surprise in this whole journey. Um, coming to work out, like I said, other gyms, when you go in and work out, you may talk to somebody, how's your day or how's the weather? But here at Fit Body, I have made the most um, everlasting friendships, which was a surprise. I mean, I came in and, and just everybody was um, so encouraging and so motivating. And even during the sessions, even now, a few years later, they're like, if I'm feeling off or having a bad day, come on, Marie, you can do it or get over here and let's do our, you know, uh, our, our reps together and stuff. It's just unbelievable support and encouragement and these this, and, it's, and the friends have become family. I mean, they know about my children. They know about if I'm going on vacation, we check in with each other. Oh, uh, you know, like next week, I'm going to be gone a couple days. I said, I'm going to go up to Oregon and see my friend. I let them know because I know they worry about me if they don't see me for a few days, as I do about them. So it's not just about coming in and working out. And it doesn't stop when I leave it. 10 o'clock. It, it's ongoing. In fact, um, I've gotten together with a couple of the girls for happy hour and stuff like that. And it's just so wonderful to know that I have a fit body family that goes beyond the sessions that I'm here. It's just, it's wonderful. Wow. I love it. That is one of my surprise uh, things that I didn't think was going to happen. And I absolutely love it. Yeah. Well, I'm so happy to hear that. I'm so happy to hear that our culture has allowed that to happen and that all these friendships blossom. It's one of my favorite parts about the job mm -hmm. is getting to see that happen and see mm -hmm. people like light up and um, just become better friends. Um, it's a super, super uh, fun thing to see. So I'm so happy to hear that yeah. you are loving your friends. Obviously, I know all your buddies <laughs> uh, and I know that you guys are as tight as you're saying. Yes. Um, and that's super exciting. So I'm super excited for mm -hmm. you guys. Um, so just kind of moving forward, there's a couple things I wanted to ask. 
Um, so this is a local podcast, so here in Orange County. So just a couple of questions about like kind of your life here in Orange County, because obviously you live here. Um, so what are some food places that you tend to go to or somewhere that you like to hang out on the weekend? Is there anywhere that you like to frequent? You and your husband, Bob, I know you guys are always getting out and doing stuff. Is there anywhere specifically uh, just here in Orange County that you'd like to shout out? In Orange County, let's see. Well, we um, I do like the one of our favorite places is just down on El Toro. It's mm -hmm. Brew. Oh, gotcha. B R U, yeah, it, they've got a great happy hour. Um, they also have, if we want to get away on the weekend um, during the week uh, during the weekends for breakfast, <laughs> they don't do it during the week, but they have yummy breakfasts. So we like brew. Um, we also like um, the Mexican food restaurant down um, La Catina, down mm -hmm. in uh, Tribuco Canyon, down the. Oh, yeah, um, it's a great spot. The place, the ambiance is so nice. They have little twinkle lights and stuff like that. We love Mexican food. That's like my my favorite little. <laughs> I don't know if, you, I guess it would be like a cheap meal because it does have, you know. Totally, the, and that was actually gonna be my next oh, question, okay. was, so uh, if you had to pick your favorite healthy meal oh. and your favorite cheap meal, what would they be? So what would be your favorite healthy choice? Okay. And what would be your favorite, maybe not so healthy choice? Okay, well just, my, I'm very interested oh, to hear okay. this. Okay, my favorite probably, cheap meal would be Mexican food and um, chips and guacamole. I could Naturally. eat that. I could eat chips and guacamole three days a week. I really could. <laughs> um, and I just love Mexican food. So that's kind of a cheat meal. My favorite healthiest meal, um, which we eat quite quite often, you know, three or four times a week, is I love salmon. Mm -hmm. I've always liked salmon, but now I eat a lot more of it. Um, salmon and um, fresh veggies and, and salads and stuff like that. Um, and, we, and for snacks and stuff, um, you know, we bring into the house different kinds of snacks now. We have a lot of hummus, we have Greek yogurt, we have, you know, cut up vegetables and stuff like that. I just, I don't bring, how I've been able to maintain, I think, is I always say, just don't bring it into the house, because if you don't have it in the house, I mean, you can go to the store, but it's a lot more effort. So Definitely. we have those healthy options, and they're so, and I've learned that through Fit Body, you know, um, because the resources are, are there for you, and they educate you so much on what, what, you should, um, or what they recommend that you should do to maintain and, and just create this lifestyle. And it is a lifestyle. It's not, I always tell everybody, it's not about I have to go to the gym or I'm on a diet and I do this. It's become a lifestyle and it's a mindset that you develop. And it's just not that we have perfect days. You know, we do go out for Mexican food and stuff like that. But our daily 90% of our time is we eat, we eat healthy because that's what we bring into our home. And that's what makes us feel good overall. If we're eating well, we're feeling better. We, if we're working out, we're feeling better, and we're able to do the things that we want to do. 100%, and that's a really good point, is that nobody's perfect. Um, we all have our exactly. cheat meals. We all have the things that we like to enjoy. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a matter of finding ways to fit those into your mm -hmm. diet so that you can still enjoy all those things that you enjoy, yes. and you can still go out on the weekends and not be afraid. And like, what I hate is like, Whenever anybody says like, oh, you know, Coach Jake, like I feel like I can't, I can't no. go out on Friday because we're in this six-week challenge and I need to lose weight. Oh. I'm like, it's it's okay, you can go out on Friday. It's exactly. all good. Just make sure that we take the steps to fit that in. So maybe right. hey, on Wednesday and Thursday we eat a little bit less. Or we really hone in and we get that like 95% really, right. really healthy, really, really good. Right. And then hey, on Friday, let it go just a little bit. Be a little bit more lenient on yourself. Right. Go, you know, have that piece of pizza or whatever it is, like whatever that indulgence exactly. is. Exactly. That's okay as long as you prepare for it. Yes. Because um, if you don't prepare for it and you eat the same amount all the time, that's when we're going to start having right. problems. And if you're constantly going out and you're constantly to, uh, making bad decisions coming like for food, right. that's when it's going to start to spiral out of control and we're right. not going to be able to help ourselves. So I think that's a really, really good point. Mm -hmm. um, well, that's awesome, Marie. So thank you so much for sharing your story. You're welcome. Thank you so much for telling us a little bit about yourself. I got one last question for you. And if you had to share just a piece of parting wisdom um, to somebody that's maybe sitting at home watching this podcast right now, maybe it's somebody that was in your shoes, maybe they're a busy mom, uh, maybe they're just getting into retirement, they don't really know what to do with themselves, um, what is one piece of wisdom or advice that you would give that person that's at home, hasn't made the change yet, hasn't started working out yet, maybe hasn't started eating healthy, what, are, what is some advice that you would give that person? Oh my gosh. Wow, <laughs> I'm very start crying. I would just say you're worth it. Invest in yourself. Make yourself a priority. Know that people that you're important enough. You're 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 worth it. You're worth the investment. And there's people there to support you. Fit Body Boot Camp. The coaches here are phenomenal. I mean, they know not only how to help you they even know personally like i have a, a a bad shoulder sometimes so i have to modify it they're there to help me modify it it's not about coming in and having a perfect session or something like that it's about 
um, encouraging and supporting one another and 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 but you have to be the first one to invest in yourself and say you know what I'm worth it um, my friend said the other day when we're when we're younger um, or raising a family we have a list of things we have to do take the kids to school do their sports do this and da, da, da. and then down below it was like work out well I she said it wouldn't it be interesting if we turn that list around and you were on number one and put your and it doesn't even have to be and what's great about Fit Body Boot Camp Jake why not it's 30 minutes and that's thing that's another mindset that I had to change I thought I had to go to the gym for two hours a day to get the changes that I had that I created and it's not it's 30 minutes a day for you to uh, transform your life physically and mentally and the icing on the cake is you can get a new family so I would just say invest in yourself and make yourself a priority. Marie, that was so awesome. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you taking the time and being on the show. I know that you're gonna help lots of people out there that are gonna watch this. Um, so I can't thank you enough. Thank you thank so much. Thank you, thank uh, you. And we hope to see you again soon. So thank I'll see you, you this week, okay? Thank you.